Hi, this is Mark with the Loveland Public Library, here to give you a quick tutorial on how to access ebooks and audiobooks through one of our online resources known as Libby, powered by Overdrive. For today, you just need to have an Android device and a library card number. We're going to go ahead and go on our phone here, or Android tablet. We're going to find the Play Store. We're going to open that up. And we're going to search for an app called Libby. We want to make sure it's the one by Overdrive here. And if you haven't installed this already, there'll be a install green button here that you want to click. After it's done installing, we want to click open. And it's going to ask us some questions to get started here. First question is, do you have a library card? The answer is yes. The second here, we could copy from another device if we have Libby installed on something else, but in this video today, we're going to search for a library using the second option here. In here, we're going to want to put in the name of our library, which is the Loveland Public Library. <laughs> it's going to pop up right here. We're going to click on that. Of course, if you're using a phone, you won't have a cursor like I have here. You just press on the screen. So it's going to ask us, let's take a moment to sign in to your Front Range downloadable library. Where do you use your library card? We're going to say at the Loveland Public Library. Here's where we're going to put in our card number. Make sure to have that handy when doing this. I'm going to go ahead and put in mine. Obviously, you won't be able to see what my library card number is. And then once you're done, you can click that sign in button or hit enter on your phone. And it's going to say, okay, you're signed in. Here's your library card. We're going to go next. And now we're going to be in the main menu here where we can see different things to do with our library, our shelf, if we want to see things that we already have checked out. Let's go ahead and check out a book here though. Let's go to the top and let's say explore. Let's find out something that's maybe popular in books right now. We can go to either popular books or popular audiobooks or just everything. Let's go ahead and do everything. Here's a list of a bunch of different books that we have access to if we want to check any of those out. But let's say I'm looking for a specific book. I can go back up here, I can hit back, I can hit back to the first page we are on, and at any time we can go up here to the top and search for a book. And so the book I want to search for is, say, Sherlock Holmes. And I can then hit that search button right down here and it'll bring up everything with Sherlock Holmes. And let's say that I want to do any of these ones. Um, we can go in and see that this one here is an audiobook. We can see that Hound of the Baskervilles is a standard ebook, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I can click borrow right here. If I want to read a sample from the book to see what it's like, I can also do that here. Right now I'm going to click borrow. We're going to use our linked card that it showed that we used. It shows how many of each things we can have at once. I'm going to go ahead and click borrow. And now I can open the book right here in the app. If I want, I can flick to the left, kind of, you know, take and click and drag to the left like a page. And I can go through the pages like this. At any time I need to get out of this menu, I can just tap on the screen once and it'll pull up this menu here. You can always go back to go back into my Libby app and start looking at other things. 
I can also find more information about the book by scrolling down here, such as its release date, how many copies are available, and if I want I can go back and I can look for other books too. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful on how to use the Libby app to access books.